Hey, how are you? Uh, it's been a while. About two months per se. Uh, in those two months, quick recap. Uh, stopped. Didn't I stopped doing Ramwad and I stopped doing yoga. Stopped meditating about three weeks ago. As you can tell, I'm a little sick. Uh, it's been going on for like a week. Not don't feel weak anymore, but my voice is going and still have clogged nose or stuffy nose. It sucks. But I stopped doing these videos, and I was doing it infrequently there when I was. Um, but I I want to start doing them daily as a way of having a record. Like a video diary. Essentially just what it is. It's a diary. Um, and the big thing about it, I just... Sorry, I don't know why I'm itchy. Uh, I guess I'm itchy because I'm nervous. I don't know why. Anyways, um, big thing. I started doing yoga again. started uh, meditating. And Ramwa did it last week once. Uh, but today is the first time I kind of gave myself time again to be me. Uh, kind of the things out of order usually I would meditate and then uh, or do yoga then Ramwa or do Ramwa then meditate but it's a little difficult uh, especially when uh, my wife wants me to make her breakfast before she goes to lift so I kind of change things around and that kind of is better for me you know if she can eat and she can do be well and be set then I'm happy uh, it allows me to do my things and allows the morning to go a little bit calmer Anyways, uh, during the meditation, um, it was the last, uh, the guy who narrates it, Andy, right? Um, he kind of talks about the middle of it, it's more of a guided meditation. Uh, and the last bit of it, he talked about focus uh, and prioritizing what you're going to do throughout the day, no matter what you do. Uh, now, granted, it's been a while since I've meditated, about almost a month. And I could feel myself being different. I guess because I drank coffee and a little bit of tea and the honey kind of from my throat kind of got me warm. And then usually I drink coffee while I meditate. This time I drank coffee and whew, it's all been there. It's in me, right? So maybe that made me feel restless. But two, I guess, things I felt. I felt rusty. Like I was just stiff and I felt heavy. I felt like I was taking up mass, and maybe it reflects what I'm doing with my training, specifically my body. I'm just lifting. Uh, it's not uh, it's not Olympic lifting. It's squats, deadlift, presses, right? Nothing explosive, and maybe that grounded feeling, uh, that heavy feeling, is making me feel heavy in my thought now. And I tried rationalizing it. It's like maybe that's what I want. I want to be grounded to this earth. I want to feel heavy and here. And that's maybe the feeling I want, uh, as opposed to being light and airy, kind of being able to flow. Instead, I'm a kind of rock in the current. I'm not the current. So I'm, I'm there. I'm not letting it move me. The problem with being a rock in the current is that eventually you'll get washed down via pebble. So what happens, it just erodes you. So I didn't necessarily like that feeling of being heavy, being rusty. But as we kept going on through the 10 minute um, meditation cycle, um, I kind of felt, what do I want to say? Uh, restless in a way because I couldn't focus on one thing and it's normally how I feel and I guess it's the first day back so I can't expect a lot. It was just different and at the end of it again um, as I was saying earlier Andy talks about uh, focusing having an idea of what you want to do for your goals whatever goal you choose have a uh, let me see if I can read the quote if I if I take it the video off it's not gonna be there anymore anyways having a specific a specific 
prioritization, right? A specific focus on what your day is going to be. Why are you doing what you're doing? Will give you a clear thought process as to why you want to accomplish your task. Uh, why I'm reading The Economist so I can get better at understanding the world, the world at large, and it's part of my GRE study, right? Uh, why am I studying for my GREs? Because I want to get into a school that will eventually get me a better job, that can give me a better career. Um, of course, within that, there are uh, their own constrictions or constraints, right? Uh, one of them being financial. I get a better job, go to the school, and we pay a lot more loans, about 50 grand more. Do I want to go into 50 grand more in debt? Who knows? Uh, and so there are these thoughts that run through your head, and I, I liked it because help me folk, it kind of let me pause and think at the end, at the end there, why I'm doing what I'm doing. And we get back to doing realm one, get back to doing yoga, get back to meditation, because I need for a kind of buffer. I train my body, I train my mind, but this is that spiritual side. Um, well, I am religious, I don't go to any uh, church. I do believe in God or higher power, believe in science too. Um, I think that I need to I need to do things in the morning or I just need to do them because it allows me to pause for a moment to kind of get in touch with my soul and allows me to feel grounded to myself which I believe if I can feel grounded to myself, if I can build my body, and if I can build my capacity, uh, mental capacity, um, knowledge capacity, uh, three different sides, my mind, my body, my mind, my body, and my soul, then those three things intertwined will allow me to grow better than just growing one. Kind of like that old CrossFit adage, right? Kind of be a well-rounded athlete instead of being <laughs> specialized. But I'm kind of specializing right now. But I'm in my in my whole life. I'm not though. If that makes sense. But yeah, that's the goal of these video diaries to give you to give myself a snapshot of what I want to do in the future, of who I was at the time, and what I was thinking. Uh, that's it. I like I like the video format. I'm going to do a video every day. No matter if it's a minute long or eight minutes long, I probably won't even watch my own videos. Uh, but I need to start doing it. One year. <laughs> Let's go with one week at a time. And we'll go from there. Uh, that's all I got. There's a lot of things running through my head right now. Uh, but I don't want to get too much into it, or do I? Yeah, why not? I can kind of see, I'm going to put this down, oh shit, let's see if it was better, oh, oh fuck, okay, I have to hold it, anyways, um, I can kind of see myself going to grad school because I like, I like being creative, I want to get more in touch with it, however I'm scared because um, it feels like I'm going back to a 9 to 5 job going back, I've never been to one, I've always been self-employed, but I've helped start things, I've been in a different type of job atmosphere, um, uh, or it was personal training, it was a little different, right, this is fitness right now, I am hesitant to actually go to this 9 to 5 job, because, or to get into school, because it's going to change my life. But the life I'm living now isn't the life I'm necessarily enjoying. I don't have any money. Um, at any point, I get into a great accident or my dog gets sick, my wife gets sick, I cannot help them. And I'm kind of in a place I don't want to be. It gives me a lot of stress and anxiety. I want to be in a better place. And so I believe, I hope, that going to the school, spending money to make more money will help me. And I could be massively wrong. 
uh, there's also the military, which is kind of this delight that, oh, it's all these benefits and only a little bit of time, I can pay everything off. That seems like a great opportunity, but it's also kind of like, what am I giving up? I don't think I'm giving up a whole lot, though. I don't know. I always come back to it. Three years of your life for free money afterwards seems like a good deal. Ooh, I burped. But that's pretty much it. Oh, also, and I want to start video recording my family. Get their lives on video. Because everyone has a story. As much as I want to do this podcast with Shane, I want to do it by myself. So maybe with him, because he's so knowledgeable, we'll talk. It'll help me grow. But my thing will be video. And that's what I'm going to produce. My thing will be video, my own, interviewing individuals. My thing with him is him and I talking about the world and stuff. And that's going to be fun. Yeah, my focus. Why do I want to work with things... Why do I want to interview my family and my friends? Because I want to know who they were at that time. And I want to know who they were. I don't know my parents other than them being my parents. But who are they? Up until them being my parents. And then me actually gaining consciousness. Not just I was born. Because I didn't know who the fuck I was. And that's one thing. You're born. Oh man, it's going to go pretty deep with this. I'm not going to go that deep. Um. That's it. I think I want to cut it there. Yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow. Oh, it's not. (laughs) Son of a bitch. Stop recording.